The 2018-19 season awards have finally been revealed. First up, the Rookie of the Year. It was between Trey Young from the Atlanta Hawks, DeAndre Ayton from the Phoenix Suns, and Luka Doncic from the Dallas Mavericks. And Luka is the Rookie of the Year. He averaged 21 points a game, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. Nothing to complain about here. Trey Young made it interesting at the end of the season, but from start to finish, it's got to be Luka. Next up is the most improved player of the year. The three finalists, De'Aaron Fox from the Sacramento Kings, D'Angelo Russell from the Brooklyn Nets, and Pascal Siakam from the Toronto Raptors. Of course, it's got to be Siakam, the most improved player. And it's funny because last year, just last year, even I was talking trash about Siakam. A lot of people were sending me clips on Twitter saying, look what you were saying about Siakam a year ago. And he completely transformed this team. He had that big game one in the finals. Definitely deserving of the most improved player. The sixth man of the year award. Now this is some cheese because two players on the same team are finalists. How is that possible? You can only have one sixth man. You can't have two. You've got Lou Williams from the Clippers. He won this award last year. You got Harrell from the Clippers. And then you got Sabonis from the Indiana Pacers. Lou Will, he's going to take home the award again. Another great season of scoring some game winners. Next up is the coach of the year. You've got Doc Rivers from the Clippers, Mike Budenhoser from the Bucks, and Mike Malone from the Nuggets. The winner is Mike Budenhoser of the Bucks, the best record in the league definitely deserving the other coaches had a great season as well maybe doc rivers probably had the best season because they didn't even have a star player they were in the playoffs they even beat the warriors a few times pretty impressive but i'm not disappointed or upset at all that the bucks head coach is the winner the defensive player of the year award we've got paul george from the thunder Giannis from the bucks and rudy gobert from the utah jazz and the winner is rudy gobert you can't get mad when Gobert wins a Defensive Player of the Year award because that's what he does. He specializes in that. The Jazz wouldn't be anywhere as good as they are without him. It is a little tough this season because Giannis and the Bucks they had the best record for a reason. Giannis, we've seen him get so many big time blocks in the regular season and even in the playoffs. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section. And finally, the Most Valuable Player award. We've got Giannis from the Bucks. James Harden from the Rockets, Paul George from the Oklahoma City Thunder. The winner is Giannis. With a tremendous season, he definitely deserves it. There's a lot of people that think it should have gone to James Harden because he did have a fabulous regular season, putting up crazy numbers. Remember, the Rockets started off the season slow. They were losing like crazy. He kept them in it with big 40 plus 50 point performances. His stats were insane, but Giannis had crazy stats as well, and his team was winning. His team was a true contender. They did get knocked out, though, by the Raptors in devastating fashion. They lost four straight. But still, Giannis, it was his breakout season. He deserves it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Oh, Kyrie leans again. Oh, another double leader. Uncle Drew getting schooled by his nephew. Another double leaner on the same play. He's leaning so bad he's out of the camera. <laughs> I can't even see him on the